discharge here. Welcome well, to Eurosports uh, highlights coverage uh, of the men's the final the from the VIP Croatia Open. It's the second stop for the men on the 2005 Swatch FIVB World Tour. It's Brazil versus Germany. Marcio Araujo of Brazil has teamed up with new partner, two metres and four tall, Fabio Magalis. To great effect, making this final without losing a single set. Well, time for the dancing girls to clear away. The Brazilians will be up against the eighth seeds, the new stars of German beach volleyball, two metre tall, Jonas Reckerman, and his defensive genius of a partner, Marcus Diekmann. We joined the match in the first set. It's 11-10 to Brazil. Germany in the darker shirts. And Brazil with the uh, yellow shorts on. And Marcus Diekmann in your picture. Well, Maybe a defensive genius, but he's also pretty handy at the net. The shortest player on court in today's match. And there is Magales, the new star of the tournament. Six foot eight. And he's really been dominating at the net. mistake there on that occasion but Marcio Araujo has been very complimentary about his partner they won five out of six of the domestic Brazilian tours before they came here to this second event on the Swatch FIVB World Tour and in a couple of press conferences referred to Magalis's height and said the man in your picture there it reminds him of Jaws from the James Bond movies I'm not sure how pleased Fabio Magalis is about that particular reference but I guess there are some comparisons especially with the height beautiful left hand shot from Marcio Araujo <laughs> Marcio Araujo never backward in coming forward with his opinion but looks like he's found himself a real cracker of a partner and I guess sometimes it just clicks it helps when they are tall and when they're athletes as well but Looks like they work together tremendously well. And there's the block, my goodness. Got so far over the net. And uh, Jonas Reckerman finding a bit of a uh, bit of a brick in the court there. Let's hope it hasn't caused any injuries. There are a few stones in the sand. We're, uh, well, the players are close to uh, Lake Jarun in Zagreb. 14-11 then. The Brazilian lead is a good one. Nice second touch option this time taken by the German player. Jonas Reckerman, number two. He's not short. That's why the uh, other players on the tour nickname him High Tower. But I think Magalis is a, a slightly higher tower. Two metres and one, Reckerman. Great shot. Great shot from Magalis. Look at that, his vest barely fits him. And Jonas Reckerman has got his work cut out today if he's going to get anywhere near the big man. Oh, wow. Pretty close to going over the top of the German blocker. 15-12, three-point cushion in this first set. It's been a pretty good weekend for Germany. Okorau and uh, Steffi Paul. Managing to get themselves a bronze medal, their best ever finish on the Women's Swatch FIVB World Tour. The German team have been to this uh, last four stage no less than seven times. Saw a picture of Armin Hager in the crowd earlier. German bronze medalist from uh, Atlanta. Your Garman and his partner Axel Hager. Attendance at this one. Great block from Hightower. It's about time he weighed in with something at the net. Shuts the lights out on Magalis and what a battle of the behemoths that is. Can he get him again? Ooh, just out. That's what these players do so well on this tour. If they make a mistake first time round, well, they just don't perceive it to be anything particularly wrong. They just fine-tune things a little for the next shot. And 
<laughs> the crowd. Bravo, Fabio, getting right on the back of Magalis. They're loving him. Great dig. Good dig in return. This is lovely stuff from both teams. And a wild hit in the end from Marcus Diekmann, whose brother Christoph has already got a World Tour win under his belt this season. Took the Shanghai event in China. And the lefty Marcio Araujo in the number one shirt. And Doug on that occasion, but uh, Diekmann with the error, trying to hit off the hands of Fabio. And Fabio cleverly just not bothering to put the arms in the air. Distinctive tattoo on the inside of the arm. The tougher Brazilian players have that. Jose Loyola, of course. And a whole set of artwork underneath the arm. Look at that. Two or three strides and he's at the net. I think we've got a new star, ladies and gentlemen. And his name is Fabio Magalhães of Brazil. Look at this. Great turn. What speed from the big man. Beautiful set from Marcio Araujo without panicking. And a clever put away. And uh, I think the German pairing now starting to wonder what they've got to do. In Zagreb, the seventh or one of seven, sorry, one of seven new venues on the 2005 Swatch FIVB World Tour. Capacity crowd here. Oh, and again, well, just clipped the outside of the line, but you can see the problems that Fabio Magalis is causing the German attackers. On this occasion, it's Marcus Diekmann, roll shot. And he's even trying to chase that down. You clearly saw the line move, and that was very sporting from Fabio, pointing to the line and nodding. Just to let the lines person know it was definitely in. And his ball control looks pretty good, Fabio. You usually can score a few points off uh, the big men. Maybe they don't dig so well, or maybe they don't set so well, but it doesn't appear to be a big problem for Fabio. Well, these two teams coming through in uh, pretty tough semi-finals. Marcio Araujo and Magales beating Harley and Benjamin. And Benjamin, of course, Marcio Araujo's former partner. So the seventh seeds beating the fifth seeds to get to the final. Brazil v Brazil. And then Germany versus Brazil. Rick Reckman and Diekman. What a great result for them. Beating the Olympic champions, Ricardo and Emmanuel. And they beat them convincingly, 21-13, 21-18, an absolute thrashing. So that took them through to the final, and uh, Ricardo and Emmanuel and Harley and Benjamin played before this game came on. And it was the Olympic champions that came out on top by two sets to one, 15-10 in the tiebreaker. Extra high toss from Reckerman and still a good pass. Look at the movement from Magales. Oh my goodness. Well, we saw him in action when he got a bronze medal last year, I think in Mallorca, with the former partner Paolo Emilio. Just trying to check that out. Yes, it was uh, bronze medal in Mallorca. And he looked pretty impressive then, but he looked a little shaky ball control-wise, but uh, we don't hear Marcio Araujo have gone away this winter and practised incredibly hard. Marcio Araujo says they've literally just worked on the basics. The rest of his game didn't need any work at all. He's always been able to block and hit and serve. But they passed and they volleyed all day long, and it's paying dividends. Great rainbow shot from Marcus Diegman. Good thinking when you've got that sort of blockade to go over or around, you might as well use some finesse shots. Nice pokey. Marcio Rajo flat footed, but still four set points to the Brazilians to go into a one set to love lead. More at gardening being done.
straight into the net from Marcio Rajo. It was the first really dodgy pass we've seen from Magales. The service received just shaky. Instead of hitting it, he opted just to roll the shot, and that left them in trouble in the rally. You can just see the difference in height between the two players, and Marcio Rajo isn't short. Huge, huge hit. And at the second time of asking, the set point is taken. Fabio Magalis and Marcio Rajo, the new partnership in their first tournament on the Swatch FIVB World Tour, have the Brazilian flags waving high in the crowd. 21 points to 17. Brazil move into a one set to love lead. And it's largely courtesy of the man in your pictures, Fabio Magalis, the new star of this tour. And Marcio Araujo just delighted that it's he that he's playing with. And what a finish. Just look at the height that Magales contacts this ball. And with that, Brazil lead one set to love. We'll take a short break there. Stay with us. This weekend, we're in for the long haul because it's not... suitable term to describe Magalis, the man in the number two vest in your picture for Brazil. And the only word I can really come up with at the moment is frightening. The guy has been awesome in the first set. He was just unstoppable. The sort of block that he put up at the net meant that Marcio Araujo was able to move easily into position in defence. And it put serious pressure especially on Marcus Diekmann, the man that they're serving for Germany. So Germany trail, great cut shot. That's his trademark. That cut shot across his body, the diminutive Diekmann. You say diminutive, 189. If he was a footballer, he'd be tall. The sport of volleyball. As you can see, he's uh, being towered over today. Good dig, nice recovery. Oh, just trying to be too cute, Diekman. It looks like Marcio Araujo, who's uh, not small himself, is going to spend most of this season hugging the chest and armpits of his partner, especially if Magalis keeps blocking like this. I'll tell you what, though, Marcio Araujo is a hard man because he's not afraid to give the big man a bit of a telling off. What Germany are trying to do here is they're trying to do this hurry up set. They're trying to make sure the ball probably only travels about two meters out of their hands and up into the air. And they're trying to make sure that they give Magalis as little time as possible to make adjustments in the block. You see there, another low set. Although he got a piece of two of them, the third one was just too much. So maybe that's a policy that Digman and Reckerman are going to go with. Marcus Diekmann to serve straight into defence. And this is the other only the only other thing they can hope for is if they serve Marcio Araujo and there's a big shouting match going on here. Marcio Araujo says it was a massive touch off Reckerman's block. Well, they're going to try everybody on this court. I think they'll be going to the um, ice cream cellar in a minute to ask about this one. The crowd don't like it. So what you think. The big left hand comes over. Well, looks like he missed Reckerman's hand by some way. Elvis Reckerman is an honest young man, I can tell you. He's the sort of guy that would nod towards the referee in acknowledgement of a touch if there was one. What's the signal on the block? Well, we looked like they were holding two fingers. Yep, there we go. Cross court. Blocking from uh, Reckerman. I assume they're going to go to Marcio Araujo again and just hope that Magalis sets badly to him and um, 
I think that settles the argument. Yeah, all right. No need to carry it on from there. God, oh dear, who'd be a referee? Eh? Even the first officials nearly looking into, uh, looking eye to eye with Magalis. So down on the sand, um, no hiding place, I'm afraid, for the second official. Well, what a start to this year's Swatch FIVB World Tour, both in the men's and women's events. A whole host of matches going to the tiebreaker set. But really, volleyball of the highest quality. Some new faces, some new names. And some older, more regular names coming into some good form with new partners. It's, uh, it's all happening. And it's all here on Eurosport. Just touching the antenna the side of the net so uh, consequently service error <laughs> and uh, recommend just having a little word as he goes under the net well I'm, I'm sure this point has gone to Brazil you can't see from that replay you can't see anything but the uh, claim from Brazil was that did touch the antenna on the net that is uh, the out zone of Brazil serve and we know the decision went their way that is the case. Uh, let's see what Magalis does. He doesn't jump serve an awful lot, just float serves and sprints into the net. And I guess they feel there's really no need to do that, especially when you've got someone like Deepman under pressure. That is too tight. That is super stuff. Super stuff from Marcial Arjo. He's your typical left-hander. He seems to get all out of shape as he comes in to swing on the ball. You can't understand how he can hit a decent shot from it but the sorts of angles he come up comes up with on the power shots create the angles for it consequently he's able to get away with shots like this i mean that was in the air for just a long time and deepman what we did really was just look at it he knew he was beaten timeout called by germany and after holding a three-point lead at the start of this second set they now find themselves trailing. Brazil looking completely happy with the situation. The atmosphere in Zagreb, superb. Running home, wish you were here. Yeah, there's this uh, enormous guy down on court. <laughs> He's making mincemeat of the opposition at the moment. Well, the only other athlete around about Magalis's height ever to play was uh, Ermachev, the Russian. Ermishin, uh, sorry, the Russian, six foot uh, ten. So same height as the uh, finalist at Queens this year, losing out narrowly to Roddick, Kalovic. Good shot, Deepman, field goal through the arms of Magalis. How many times can he keep doing that? Big man has had him bang to rights for most of this game. 5-4, Germany lead. The finding thing is, he does he does things very quickly indeed, and if you were to look at him in isolation, you would not say there's a really tall athlete. He just doesn't play like that. He plays like your typical 6'3", six 6'4", foot six foot beach volleyball player, your all-round athlete, and that is, that's the way of volleyball these days. It's uh, increasingly been a height-driven sport, but only because these big athletes can move and play so well. Impressive stuff and impressive comeback from Reckman. Good setting from him, gets it into the right position this time for Diekman. That's the comeback element. Reckman has to keep this ball control there for his partner. Desperately important that this man sets well. It's desperately important that he serves well. Not the case on that occasion. Six apiece. Valis and 
Marcio Araujo not looking at all phased at the moment. Right. Dismissive almost at the net. He's not the cleanest of blockers, he's a little messy the way he jumps, but look at the penetration, oh my goodness. It's deep and thinking, well, the lights just went out there. It does stand one more mention, uh, Gary Duncan, the uh, former UK Tour player. I remember asking him about Anthony Roberts on the beach volleyball circuit. Anthony Roberts, the most enormous block jump off the sand. And, uh, Gary Duncan used to say, well, I find a piece of court that doesn't have a shadow on it, and I stand there, and that's where the ball tends to go. I think that's what Marcio Arasho must be feeling at the moment. Good swing, lovely swing off a great set. An absolute peach of a set. As I said, Marcio Arasho's only comment so far on his partner, apart from praise all round, has been that he <laughs> looks like Jaws out of James Bond. This is a stroll in the park for Marcio Araujo at the moment. He tends to do this, he tends to get runs of defensive pickups. And will get maybe three or four in a row. And if he gets them at a crucial time in the set, then it can all be over very quickly. Araujo must be just beside himself at having teamed up with Magales. Another enormous block, and what he's done is he's picked this guy out as a potential partner. He's shown faith in him. He's gone away and patiently worked with the guy and got him into the sort of shape you need to be in to play on this Swatch FIVB World Tour. And by shape, it's not just physical fitness, it's your ability to control the ball. That's what wins you matches in professional beach volleyball. Again, the hurry-up offence from Germany works well. And um, mustn't forget Jonas Reckerman and Marcus Diekmann. I think they've been rather overshadowed in this match. Quite literally, obviously, by the enormous block of Magalis. But let's not forget that they have emerged as Europe's number one team at the moment. Didn't come away from it with anything from the Olympics in terms of any silverware. Kobel and Heuscher picking up the bronze. Spain, of course, getting the silver. Two uh, pretty good results there for Europe. Behind Ricardo and Emmanuel of Brazil. So Reckerman and Diekman have long been the most consistent team. Sides. Good swing. Good swing from Diekman. I think this is what he's got to do. Let's ask for the ball a little bit further off the net from partner Reckerman. And then just forget about trying to find the court, trying to find your angles. Just get up there, Marcus, and swing. There you go. And challenge Marcio Araujo to dig you. He doesn't like that. Oh, that was nearly the most amazing block, but just going down the front of Reckerman's shirt, and Magalis and Reckerman have had a ding-dong of a battle in this final here in Zagreb. Unlucky, Jonas Reckerman. Right place at the right time. Wrong outcome. For Germany, at least. Perfect for Brazil. And uh, they are looking ever more solid. Well, the dancing girls are coming out, but uh, sorry to say, we've got to take a break there. The centre court highlights action from the VIP Croatian Open final on the Swatch FIBB World Tour. 12-9, Brazil leading the second set, having taken the first set by 21 points to 17. $32,000 and 400 ranking points await the winner of this final. 
second tournament on this year's tour and the first of the European tournaments. And we've got a whole run of European tournaments to continue. And our first handling decision by the referee, the subjective decision by the first official on whether the ball was handled legally. And this is the new tightening of the rules. And Reckerman, one, two. You quite clearly saw the hand and he knows it. He knows that. And as soon as the whistle goes, there was a little protest from Jonas Reckerman, but uh, really just a clarification of the situation. You're not allowed to deep dish, and you really must have a completely clean contact on the ball. Now, brave man takes it on again. It's a tight one, but Diekman this time manages to get into the face of Magalis and push that ball through his hands. Money for nothing by dire straits. Far from the truth. This is money for extremely hard work on the sand. Booming shot from Marcio Arosho. And when he hits those shots into the deep corners, I just have no idea how you're supposed to defend this. Lovely look to see where the player was. And in the end, just decided to not bother to go with the shot, just to hit it as hard as he could into the corner 14 10 brazil in command that looked like a slightly uh, shaky set as well to me but it's the quick one fast ball out to deepman and deepman when he gets that sort of service hits with the best twin brother christoph having one in china it's not been a bad year so far for the deepmans on the beach Getting much change out of Marcia Arajo at the moment. They're considering him to be the slightly better option in terms of serving because of the fact that they hope Magales will set him badly and they hope that Marcia Arajo won't quite be as high or as powerful. And I'm afraid the left hander is really just too good at the moment. It's almost casual defence, isn't it? He's so, so in the right place. From Fortaleza in Brazil. One of the tougher towns in that country. Marcio Rajo, one of the tougher opponents on the Swatch FIVB World Tour. Line was open. <laughs> Yeah, Magalis uh, exclaiming there as he went to jump. Oh, no. He was in the wrong place. Well, it's a smaller stadium, but uh, the Croatian crowd having a really good go at emulating Klagenfurt. What a wonderful atmosphere to play in. So the same sort of thing in Stara Jabłonki in Poland last summer. Very nicely put together tournament and the players rewarding the organisers with some superb stuff. Marcel Rajo just clowning about at the net a little. He wouldn't have been laughing if he'd hit the net. 17-12, comfortable for Brazil still. Again, the float serve, the sprint to the net for Magalis. Oh, wonderful. Point chance now. No, had to be played over because of the block touch. And Reckerman can go high enough off the block of Fabio Magalis. his second season and he hasn't played that many tournaments either just looking back on his record he played 16 times on the Swatch FIVB World Tour 
Benjamin's plans didn't initially, sorry, Marcio Rajo's plans didn't initially include Beijing. But if the 32-year-old can keep himself in shape, he'll only be 36 at China. Oh, goodness gracious me. When you see shots like that, you just know you've got a new star on your hands. This is straight down off the sand, and uh, if he caught a hard patch, that might have gone out of the stadium. Good block again, he can do it all. And bizarrely enough, the last time I saw a shot hit like that down the line on this world tour was by Benjamin two years ago in Gestad. That's where we're heading next weekend, start in Switzerland, up into the mountains for beach volleyball. Always a very unusual atmosphere up there, wonderful stuff to play with that backdrop of blue sky snow-capped mountains in the distance just such an unusual incongruous place to play beach volleyball it uh, represents the commitment that switzerland has shown to this sport and although the highest place finisher from switzerland was uh Hoichen kobel the bronze medalist from the olympics in fifth i'm sure we'll see their better teams back and uh, the big news of course from switzerland is the lassiger brothers have split to team up with other partners. We'll see them, I'm sure, in the final stages at some stage. We're going to take a short break there. We'll be back with the conclusion of this match very soon. Stay with us. This weekend, we're in for the long haul. Welcome back with the uh, closing stages of this second set. Can Germany make a comeback? Or is this final going to go the way of Brazil? Two sets to love. Well, if Germany are to come back, then Jonas recommend has to serve well and partner Marcus Diekmann has to come up with some brilliance and he's going to have to do it at the net well the service is good enough so Diekmann usually the defensive genius in this partnership has been left to block and that's because Jonas Reckerman wants to concentrate fully on this service and it's a cracker but he needs another four or five of those if he's going to get the pressure on Huge swing from Marcio Araujo, and it's a, a wild swing. He occasionally does that. He's done it two times in this match now. Taking a mad swing on it and missed by a mile. Still trailing by three points. for a few uh, tidy up things to be done on court ready to go again and there's the problem having Jonas Reckerman in defence nowhere near as quick and as able to read the play as his partner it's a slightly frustrating end to that point And the hurry up offense and again Diekman absolutely unloads on the ball that was crucial still though three championship points for the Brazilians Marcus Diekman needs brilliance here a good enough pass this for the tournament another well, chance is going to be the star that hits for it and he just gets it off the arms of Jonas Reckerman and out and rather appropriately it is Fabio Magales of Brazil that wins the closing point he hoists his partner Marcio Araujo high up off the sand and having come through the qualification bracket to make eighth seed, 
It is a superb result for the Brazilians. They've played a lot of matches at this tournament and they haven't lost a set. That is a warning message. A shot across the bows of anyone else on this Swatch FIVB World Tour to watch out because here comes Marcio Araujo and his new partner, Fabio Magalis. And it's difficult to see in this sort of form who is going to stop them. And now he's got a win under his belt. Fabio Magalis can settle down and begin to think about the future. Well, that's all for today's beach volleyball coverage. Hope you can join me tomorrow morning on Eurosport at 10.30 CET, 9.30 UK time for highlights coverage of the women's final from Milan. Greece versus Brazil in that one. And then directly after that, a real treat. World League action from Nancy in France as the home team take on one of the only undefeated teams left in the league, the high-flying Cubans. I look forward to your company for that. But for now, as we leave Marcio Arajo celebrating here at the VIP Croatian Open, he's back on the winner's podium, he's back in form, and he's back with a new, very, very big partner. That's it for now. Goodbye.